What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another ESO video. Today we're going to be going over the Crown Source Showcase for November 2023. It actually looks pretty freaking incredible, honestly. Let's just get right into it, okay? So this first picture is going to detail a bunch of cool stuff. So we got some new Crown crates coming, maybe a new assistant, a new mount. Um, all of it looks absolutely fantastic. Starting off, we've got the ESO Plus deals. So all ESO Plus members have access to a monthly selection of exclusive deals and items. If you're not familiar with this, basically um, we get crown discounts and stuff like that on various items that are in the crown store. Typically we get different little tiny statues or statuettes, but lately they've been actually doing paintings, which I think is much better. They're better quality, they're cooler. When people visit your house, they can see them a lot more. The statues that they gave us were always super tiny. Um, so I've been a big fan of these paintings 100%. This Sanity's Edge painting, we've had access to this previously, but it looks absolutely amazing. We've got this new painting of the Endless Library, very, very Endless Archive-esque. Really enjoy it, looks cool. I'll definitely be throwing it in my house, okay. Let's hop into the next section. We've got the Crown Gem and seal of endeavor items. So we have a mount, the dragon scale, Draeger bear. This thing looks pretty sick. So it's like a skeletal bear, it almost looks like a wolf, but I guess it's gonna have the running animation, walking animation of the bears. So that's pretty cool. I am pretty bummed when they do this though, because essentially you can only get this with crown gems, assuming you don't have the seals of endeavor lying around. Um, typically, we're not going to because we get very few seals of endeavor. You have to use them very sparingly. So most people resort to actually buying these items. The problem with crown gem specific items like this is that the only way you can get them is by purchasing crown crates, getting duplicates, or essentially breaking down items you don't want, like consumables, crafting motifs, etc. So cool mount but definitely unfortunate that um, it's a Crown Gem exclusive. We go into the adornments. We've got this short must wave. I'm pretty sure I have this. This is a pretty chill look. Um, just kind of a slick back look for the hair. Very cool. We've got the Zanmir Doyen's Feather Tiara. I think I have this. I've never used it before. Um, not the biggest fan of stuff like this, but you know, if you're going for kind of a more tribalistic look, I guess it could be pretty cool. All right, into the skins, we've got the Azure Imp Epidermis. I do think that this is cool, but again, I'm a much bigger fan of when this stuff is earnable in game. They used to associate all the challenger achievements for dungeons, things like getting the, the no death, the speed run, the hard mode, and vet completion of a dungeon, typically used to reward you with a skin. They transitioned over time into putting these skins in the store. Um, behind crown crates or just behind crowns in general so you know it's nice that the crown gifting is back 100 percent. that's awesome however i do wish um, we could earn this stuff in game like we used to be able to got the sea giant crafting motif this is the motif that drops in the kinds aegis um, trial that is the one that came with the gray more expansion it's one of my favorite trials I actually really like it very nordic um, themed. I really, really like it. Definitely. I do wish that they would not have crafting motifs in the crown store because there's no prestige behind this. If I, if I were to see this guy standing around in um, Wayrest or Elden Root or something like that, flexing his motif because he ran Kind's Aegis so much or he spent gold and, you know, purchased it, you know, I think that's great. But typically I just think I wonder how much money, <laughs> you know, people spent. Very cool motif though, definitely pick it up if you don't have it. I'm definitely a big fan. Um, the one thing when it comes to shields, I do like the shield, I think it's pretty cool. But the one thing with shields is they have a lot of overly small shields um, where they're way too small. They look like they're basically just gonna cover your forearm and that's about it, like they're not gonna do too much. I would like when they're doing these previews, I would like to see them like being used by a character. I know that these are artifacts and this is typically their background with it, but I definitely would prefer to see the actual sizing of the mo of the um, motif or the, the shield style 
um, because that ultimately is what goes into whether or not I would use it. This is sick. Anytime we get into the dungeon arms packs like this, I've never seen the Layer of Mars lock one before, but this looks incredible. I'll definitely be picking this up. Again, I'll always, you know, I'll always want this kind of stuff to be earnable in game. Um, I'm going to go back and forth on this. Like, I want to buy it because I want it, but at the same time, you know, I really, really, really wish this was just a rare drop off of, you know, the final dungeon or the final boss in the dungeon. But very cool. So this will be there, what, November 9th? Or I'm sorry, November 2nd to November 9th. So starting tomorrow, actually, if you watch this. Oh, this looks sick. I have to get this on my Templar. Oh, my God. Anvil of Zenithar Arms Pack. This looks incredible. Oh, my God, dude. How cool is that? That's going to be... November 9th to November 22nd. You've got the Maroon's Razor Dagger. This is an artifact again. This is cool. Um, but unless you're just like a, a lore junkie, that's not like the coolest dagger to me. The Prior Theric, Prior Theric, however you pronounce that. Sorry for butchering that if I did, but this looks freaking awesome too. I'm very, very excited for this. I actually came from PlayStation. I play on PC now, and I have this on PlayStation, and I love it. It's one of my favorite arms packs for sure. This looks cool. This looks super cool, actually. So we're down into wardrobe now. Costumes, Pact Mother Elite Ensemble. Very cool. Okay, we got the Grok Climbers Active Wear. Not my, not my style. I also have all male, uh, male characters, so not something I would typically wear. We've got the Traveling Merchant. I do like all these costumes that have like the backpacks and stuff on them. I always think those are great. Okay, Solitude, Stevedores. Stevador, Stevador's Jerkin. I do have this. I don't remember when I got it, but I do have it. It's cool. I mean, if you're going for a more um, low fantasy, just realistic kind of average NPC look, then yeah. Dark Shaman's cool. You can make some pretty cool, um, you know, outfits using skins and stuff. It is. It was always one of the cooler costumes because you had the open chest like that and you could show off your skins. All right, we got the Zanmir Doyen's Worship Robe. Same thing. I mean, if you're into the tribalistic look, that's great. Armored Knight's Pack, again, really low fantasy. Um, not the biggest fan of those personally, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so then we've got the Dragon Scale Crates coming back and the Bandari Peddler Crates. These mounts are pretty cool, um, but I'm definitely going to have to get some of these with gold now that we have Crown Gifting back. I'll definitely be going for that stuff. All right. You can get event tickets. Um, the one thing during this month, and we'll be making a video for this, but it, we are in the middle of event season right now. So, you know, October, we have Witches Festival. Late November, we're going to be having the Oblivion Portal Celebration. So we'll be in, what, Blackwood, Deadlands, doing all those. Um, and then December will have new life. So I assume it's showing this here for that, but Okay, grace of the green bundle. This is sick. I assume this is an assistant Let's see as the forces of nature take root. So so too do the blessings of Ifre. This bundle contains Ifre bound weapons these which are visibly graced by the god of song and forest It also includes Drenweth a Valen wood armorer. Okay, so this is a this is an armory assistant. Gotcha. We got some furniture items. Very cool. Bunch of bunch of vampire themed stuff, Daedric themed stuff. Um, we've got the Zenithar themed stuff. This is cool. Got some music boxes. The Bastion Sanguinaris House is coming back, along with the Kushalit Sanctuary and the Panther Fang um, Chapel. Very nice, very nice. We've got Rigger the Brash as a house guest. All right, and then we get into the mounts, the Umbral Striped Centrac. This is cool. This is cool. Not my style, but, you know, I think these are great. The Autumn's Messenger Fox. Very nice. We got the Pack Lord Nightmare Wolf. This is the cool mount. Okay, when is this coming? November 22nd to November 30th. The Void Eater Dursog. That thing is sick. Okay, and then we've got this Stallion. Some Pets. Nothing crazy here. I'll be including the link down to this. If y'all want to, you know, go through this in a um, in a slower pace, kind of read all this stuff, I'll be linking, or yeah, I'll be linking this article down below so y'all can do that. 
Uh, but I just kind of wanted to pop in here, see what was really, really cool. Cool, we got the polymorph, the goblin polymorph. That's cool. A lot of people enjoy that. We've got rotating sales. Um, we'll have additional discounts on the crown store every weekend in November, so just check that out. Removal of existing crown store items. So dread sales. Send to order Cerebanic Marine, Sistress Guardian, Ifri's Will, and Drowned Mariner are leaving. All right, and that's pretty much it. Let me know what y'all thought. I actually thought it was great. I'm always, you know, I don't really care too much about the pets. I do think that this mount is pretty sick, and I'm also very, very happy that this is not the Crown Gym exclusive one. I've never been a fan of the Crown Gym exclusive mounts. Um, the other mounts are, you know, they're fine. I think they're great. Lots of cool housing stuff. I know a lot of people are really into housing, so it looks like you've got a lot of cool stuff. I'll definitely be getting this Grace of the Green bundle. Um, I'll be checking out the Crown Crates to see if there's anything in there that I want or need. Um, Costume-wise, I think the Traveling Merchant looks fantastic. Um, very, very cool, especially for Khajiit. Um, another backpack-based one. This is a cool costume. I'll be checking that out. And then, honestly, um, this is the one I'm most excited for. I made a Templar tank, so getting something like this just really fits in, and I'm super pumped for that. But, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.